Hi, my name is Kate and welcome to my channel. Here are a few perfumes and I talk about my perfume associations. And if you like this video, of course, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, to subscribe, to ring a bell and to leave a comment if you have something to something to say. I'll be happy to, uh, to hear your feedback and hear about the perfumes that you love. Um, so today I'm offering you to speak about perfumes for cozy atmosphere at home. If you're reading a book, watching a movie, or just hanging out by yourself or with somebody at home, you still might want to smell good uh, and cozy and nice. <laughs> so this is what I want to discuss today. And I will start with my recent purchase that has very different reviews on Fragrantica because somebody hates it, somebody loves it. And I still didn't fully make up my mind about it, but I think it's definitely interesting to talk about this one. So uh, this is Alice Brooklyn Vanilla Milk. Um, I'll insert the picture, but still, maybe if you want to see the travel size. Um, I wasn't sure I need the whole bottle, so but play with it a little bit, it was nice. So this is interesting because um, Vanilla milk, right? So this is supposed to smell like something, the milk that um, you have when you finish eating your cereal and there's a little bit on the bottom. So more or less, but this is smoky. I don't know if it's chestnut or if it's some kind of wood here. It definitely has a smoky aspect together with this vanilla-ish milk. It's unusual. I don't know how, I don't fully understand how I feel about this, um, but it reminds me of um, This Is Her by Zadig and Voltaire. Not like they're the same, no, they're completely different and uh, they're very different actually. And Zadig and Voltaire has this chestnut aspect and uh, cream and vanilla and um, some fruit that actually, I just sold it to be honest I used to have I did but I don't know there was some fruit no just didn't settle well with me I don't know why but that one is also good for home to be honest it smells like a cream that you just apply on your skin after the shower something like that but not as interesting as I expected so I decided to get rid of it this one is kind of the idea of that so it's creamy it's like tonic and it has a smoky aspect. So maybe uh, they decided to rethink This Is Her and do something inspired, maybe not. I might be wrong, but um, yeah. It's like, it's too smoky to my taste for, for the name of it, Vanilla Milk. But if you like something like this, I don't mind to be honest, because it reminds me of, I could not not have it here because this is my, one of my favorite. Uh, for home. Uh, this is Replica by The Fireplace by Maison Margiela. And um, I know, I know a lot of people speak about it, but I also wanted to kind of insert my word too, <laughs> because I love this one. And uh, this is chestnut. Yes, this is fire. This is also vanilla aspect. I don't think it has any flowers or anything like this in it, but I think it's beautiful and it really gives me the vibe like I'm in Chamonix. I've actually been to Chamonix, uh, but a while ago. Um, yeah, it's like I'm sitting by the fireplace, there's some snow outside and it's so cozy and there is uh, wood cracking, uh, the fire, the fire, fire, I said fire again. But yes, I like this one. It really gives me this cozy atmosphere. I understand that not everybody understands it. I tried to wear it um, outside a few times and people did not know how to respond to that. But not everybody is crazy perfume maniac, so um, I can wear anything basically and just I'm curious about the reaction, I'm not scared of the reaction. And uh, this one is smoky. Um, I wouldn't say that I really smell chestnut, I just really, like I would actually say it's more like a fire smoke. Uh, and I love that. Before I before I met this guy, I thought that it's something strange about me because I like the uh, the smell, the smoke of something burning, uh, and I thought it was weird. 
uh, but now I realize that so many people like it, so I don't feel bad about that anymore. Okay, um, another Maison Margelin uh, that I use either at home or when I go uh, out to have some coffee. This is, of course, Coffee Break. I don't know if you can see it, um, but I'll show the picture anyway. So also I have um, only the tester, not the tester, sorry, the travel size, uh, because I also was not sure. When I know that I'm not, I don't need 100 ml bottle or I don't need 50 ml bottle or even 30, I can uh, get 10 and I love replica for that. Please keep doing that because it's amazing and um, I don't have this like half dead bottles that I'm never using <laughs> in my perfume wardrobe. Uh, so yes, I love this trend for travel sizes. And this is a fougere. It means that it, it relies on, on lavender, uh, but it also has a coffee aspect, some cream aspect, a little, little bit of lactonic aspect too. And uh, it's so pleasant. I cannot imagine how not to like this. I think this is such a crowd pleaser. Uh, very safe for blind buy because even lavender who not everybody likes it's it's not very strong or overpowering it just kind of the aspect you know it just adds a little of fresh touch uh, to the coffee uh, and creams yeah it's it's beautiful very safe um, very easy to wear anywhere and actually, it opens up so beautifully on my boyfriend, better than on me. Um, I don't know why, it's just deeper and you know, more playful, it changes so much. But I still like it. Yeah, and the perfect to wear like on a day like this, today's cloudy, a little gloomy. Uh, very nice for a good cheerful mood. Okay, another one. Oh, also one of my recent purchase. Um, this is Serge Luton's. Maybe you've noticed that I love Serge Luton's. So this is five o'clock or Jean Jean Um So five, five o'clock tea with ginger, I would say. So this is beautiful. I don't know why I didn't, like I was not trying it for so long and I wish I met this guy earlier because, and especially this, uh, the new version and uh, this kind of black sticker bottle is nice uh, and uh, I like it but if you have a chance to find the older version uh, like this uh, I would recommend that because this one is definitely a little bit different uh, not like the new one is bad no it's not bad it's just um, a little lighter it's like you add a little bit water <laughs> into your tea uh, this one is kind of like or maybe because it's older and you know it was sitting there for for a while and now the perfume is just feels a little stronger maybe because of that but <clears throat> this smells like tea with ginger with bergamot and some honey in it and I kind of when I smell it I feel like there's a cup of this tea in front of me um, and there is a little smoke above it and I just inhale it and relax this is very relaxing this is perfect for the days when you were stressed maybe or uh, something just bad happened and you just want to add some aspect of relaxation into your day <laughs> into your time into your mood and this is amazing so this smells exactly like that tea um, beautiful very very nice also very easy to like I'm using perfumes that are very easy to like mostly here but maybe not this and not uh, by the fireplace because not, not everybody like likes the smell of something burning <laughs> and this has a smoky aspect too so only for that reason if you don't have any problems with it you can try uh, still I don't recommend blind buying but I kind of do that so I cannot tell you don't do that um, yeah so five o'clock amazing super relaxing um, another one so this is by Killian uh, called Princess. The uh, the full name is I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess, which is true. So another variation um, on tea. This is also tea, but with marshmallows. So 
if you had some, I would say green tea, because here it's obviously uh, black tea. <clears throat> and here I would say it's maybe jasmine tea or just green tea uh, with a little bit of sugar in it. And plus next to it, there's a, a little pile of marshmallows just sitting there next to your tea. And you inhale all of that and it's very nice. It's for those who like sweet stuff because Killian also is famous for making um, for, for sweet tooth because many of the perfumes are pretty heavy in sugar, which I don't mind. I know that many people don't like sweet perfumes. This is not too bad. This is not too sweet though, uh, not overpowering. So this is not love, don't be shy. That I know some people are just, it's too much for them. <laughs> this one is good. Uh, and um, yeah, I already described how it smells. It's very nice. Also, don't know if I need the whole bottle. Maybe if I use this whole travel size, I will get a whole one. If not, maybe I'll wait. Yeah, also, I just like this tea. You notice that I have coffee, I have tea. Uh, <laughs> I just like this stuff. Um, another uh, fragrance that I wanted to mention, I already mentioned here in my first video about uplifting fall fragrances. This is Prada Candy Night. Um, and I said that it's, it's chocolatey. I think I didn't really go into details. Um, so to me, to my nose, I know that not everybody smells that, but this is how my no nose works. At first, when I just sprayed, I smelled coffee. Really, like, I, I was sure that I smelled coffee, and every time, now, I don't know, is it, did it just anchor, or um, it's, I don't know, like, <laughs> my chicka Um Yeah, so it first smells like coffee, then it transforms into more, um, I would say it's dry chocolate, you know, this uh, hot chocolate mix before you add milk in it uh, so this is how it smells because it's kind of fluffy it's not flat it's not it doesn't uh, smell like liquidy like aquatics uh, this smells like yeah like dry chocolate mix and um, then after some time goes by uh, and uh, maybe after an hour or two when it goes into the base on your skin I re you realize, or I realize, it's not actually um, chocolate, it's iris. Uh, it's this chocolatey powdery iris flower. Um, because uh, iris has this uh, chocolatey aspect, and here it just uh, turned on to the maximum. Uh, so you uh, really get this iris chocolate aspect. It's really nice. Uh, yeah. Also very cozy, um, if you like something like that, if you like gourmands, because this is clearly gourmand, uh, like obviously, I would say that all of them are, maybe not by the fireplace of course, but all of them are kind of gourmandish, especially this one. Yeah, very nice, very easy to wear, uh, good for maybe younger ladies, but I, I don't discriminate. I, I believe that everybody can wear what they want. Uh, if you are, let's say, 70 year old man and you like something like this, please wear it and rock it. If like if you're a young girl but you like Chanel 5, I don't see a reason why you cannot wear that. And the last one, um, this is interesting. So uh, this is Zoologist and I love Zoologist. Um, I still don't have a full bottle because I cannot I, I cannot collect all of them because it would be kind of pricey to collect so many but I have most um, of the testers because I was so curious to try and this one I didn't smell for a month or two so I would like to spray it and tell you what I think on the basis of that not only my memory yeah uh, so this is very nice for home because um, I will not read out all the notes that they mentioned, but if you imagine chipmunk who's just like running around, around the tree maybe, um, somewhere in the forest, I would say that what I like about zoologists, it takes you to the journey. So 
I, in the beginning, I smell a lot of um, hazelnut, very strong hazelnut. Then, kind of transforms into wood. It's like, you know, it's like the chipmunk found, uh, found the hazelnut and is trying to take it to like home <laughs> with it. And yeah, it says it has so many notes. What I definitely hear smell is pink pepper, red mandarin, maybe some aspect, not sure. Cardamom, yes, definitely spices in it. Nutmeg, yes, spices again. Chamomile, sure. Hazelnut, yes. Fir balsam, yes. When uh, the tree comes out, I definitely can say, oh, now, now I smell the chipmunk. So it has, uh, it definitely has uh, animalic notes, but it's not this scary animalic. Please don't, don't worry that like you will feel something sweaty or like something scary. Here, it's a very light aspect of the fur. You know, it's like this soft fur of an animal, or it can be like a belly of a cat or something, something very, soft very very like very gentle yeah it also has cedar wood patchouli vetiver benzoin uh, papanax guayac um, uh, guayac wood sorry um yeah yeah very nice and it takes you to this journey because it's um it's also playful it's changing it's oh it's so nice now it becomes slightly slightly sweet yeah, I think it's benzoin comes up. Very, very nice, very soft, very comforting. Just, I don't know, it's so nice to wear this nice cozy sweater, which for sure I just, I wore it because of the topic of this video. Very nice, and I love this one. Unfortunately, in my skin, it's not very long lasting. I would hope that it spends more time with me, that the chipmunks doesn't, like they don't run away so fast, but maybe two, three hours, I would say, on my skin. But also I usually, perfumes don't stay that long on my skin uh, for some reason. So oh, I just cannot stop smelling it because it's so nice, so soft, so gentle. And this hazelnut, oh my God. I don't know why I, I mentioned guys before that I'm obsessed with gourmands right now. And this one is so nice, this very, very cute, just like a cheap punk. Okay, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I covered all the perfumes uh, that I prepared for it. Please let me know what you think. Uh, share your opinions. Uh, maybe add something to my list of cozy home perfumes. And I hope I see you soon. Bye.